Hello there guys, Gamer 64 here, and today I've got a brand new vlog for you guys. Um, today I've got a new game console to hook up um, right in front of you. This is not going on the gaming channel, it's going on this channel, of course, the vlogging channel. Um, just because I need a vlog, <laughs> I'm not gonna, like, beat around the bush or anything. I need a vlog, I haven't done a vlog since the summertime, and it's like, it's going on to like a month into school. And I still haven't done a vlog yet, so I figured today would be a great day. Um, I've got this console to hook up, and then I've got the Iron Snout episode to film at, well, in between this vlog. Um, I've got the Ultra Gamer Talks about, I've got a bunch of stuff to do today. So, without further ado, let's get to the, I get, I'm gonna say, like, almost the main bulk of this vlog. And that is this game console right over here. If any of you guys do not know what this is, this is an APF TV Fun. Let me try and zoom in. Let me see if it'll focus. There we go. APF TV Fun. Now, this is, a, this is an extremely old console. Um, I believe it's newer than the Atari 2600, but um, it's definitely old. I mean, look at this. There's no controller or anything. It's just built right into the console. And... There's literally just four games on it. Just turn the style, and you can pick which game you want. One, two, three, or four. What game did you grow up with? I grew up with game two, personally. No, I'm just kidding. But, um, as you can see, this one does not have the chrome like this one does. It probably just fell off. Um, I got this from my uncle, and he, from what I was told, he had this in his attic. And, of course, it's not in perfect shape. I mean, that button's missing. Um, the chrome is missing, but I'm still superly excited to have this. So, we're gonna plug this baby in, um, watch her work, because I really want to see how well this thing works. I've never played one before, I've never owned one, so we're gonna go on it and see what it's got to offer. First, I've got to clear off my messy desk, though. Um, got the Atari 2600 controller going over there. Um, Mini Tira, you're going over there. Um, Random Snake Plush, 2DS, and a bunch of Family Guy DVDs. You are going over here with the AF, APF, um, Ape Escape. You can go over there too. Oh uh, crap! See, so I've got this poster here that I don't want to move. There's my 3DS, um, a bunch of change, a controller. Um, I guess I can fit it right here, right? Move the coaster and move the adapter that I bought for literally no reason. And let's see, we can unwrap this. Let's get it over here. There we go. All right, so move you over here. Um, a little tip for you console owners. If the cords are in the back and you have nowhere to string them, always put the console like this, just like hanging over the desk. I don't know why I said that, it's kind of common knowledge, but um, just kind of string it over your desk so it doesn't bend the cords. You do not want bent cords when dealing with a game console. Then come down here, and I've got to figure out a place to plug this in. As you can see, this is a giant box, like, it's bigger than the Atari 2600s, so I'm going to have to make room here. Now let me kneel down, see if I can get this better. Um... Try and plug that. Unplug the camera charger. That should work. Honestly, I'm going to do it anyways, but I would not suggest plugging this into a power strip just because it's so old. I mean, I don't know if that could cause anything to happen, but I have a feeling that something could happen. So just be cautious of that. Please don't burn your house down because of me. Or anything. Please don't burn your house down. Um, let's bring you over here. Dang, I need to set you guys down. So, I need both hands. Um, I'm gonna set you right there. I think that'll work. There we go. I gotta finagle this a little bit. Just give me a second, guys. Okay. Um, see, now the camera's in the way. There we go. That'll work. That working? That's working well. There we go. Just had to finagle it a little bit. Um, now, gotta get this cord. That cord right there. Uh, I gotta set you down again. I'll set you right here so you can actually see what I'm doing. 
Move a little cabbage guy. It's from Plants vs. Zombies. If you guys watched my Let's Play. There's a lot of videos being mentioned in this video. Um, let's move the Atari controller. There we go. That'll work. Alright. So, basically, just take this little box. Unplug your Atari. And the um, console. Just plug in right there. It should work. Let's hope it does. Like I said, I've never had one of these before, so I'm not sure if this is going to work or not. Time to test it. Put the controller over there. Obviously, we don't need to hook a controller up to it because it has no controllers. Well, it does, but not really. Alright, power the TV on. Spring it to life. Ah, that's loud. That's really loud. And then... Oh, oh my goodness, look at that. Oh my, where's the pongs? Oh, it's flickering, it's flickering. It's ghost pong. Oh man, look at that flicker, that's authentic. Look at that, that's awesome. All right, let's try another game. That that was game one, I'll go through all of them. It's game two. Um, looks like double pong, yeah, double pong. As you can see, the um, bars are very, very flickery and finicky, which that's okay. I mean, it's just cause it's just cause of the um, console's age. It's very, very understandable that it's like that. But as you can see, they're flickering a lot. So I wonder if there's a way to fix that. I'll have to check that out. Here's game three. Um, looks like table tennis or like or whatever the game's called, where you hit the um, ball against a wall. And just kind of practice with yourself. It's this game, basically. Um, how do I score? I don't know. Oh, you don't want to let it... Okay, I got you. Yeah. And then here's game four. Oh, this is just the one player. Um, I'll just call it wall tennis. Yeah, there's the one player wall tennis. Let's turn it off. Um, let's go back to game one just to show off the... Um... Just the basic old Pong. If any of you guys never have never seen this before, this is Pong, guys. Um, very basic game. Literally just twists up and down. Moves your slider up and down. And you just try to bounce the ball back and forth. Very, very fun, but very, very old and extremely cool. So there we go. There is the new console. Um, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to set it. I think I'll set it back there. And then set, like, Mini Tira on top of it. Like, right there. By the way, that's Mini Tira. Um, the reason I'm calling him that... I think it's, like, normally called the Dino Supercharge Morpher. Or something like that. But I'm calling him Mini Tira because of Kyori Unger. So, yeah. Um, Mini Tira was a thing because Gabu Tira is, um... King's, uh, mech. So... When he becomes miniature, it's mini Tira, so that's why I call him that. But I may set mini Tira on top of him, or mini Tira on top of this, and then maybe get Blastoise on top of it, because obviously it doesn't take any cartridges, so I won't have to worry about placing stuff on top of it. But that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, very cool. I want to check out what this angle is. Oh wow, that's insane. That's cool. Guys, I just noticed that the sound comes from speakers in the console and not the TV. That is really cool. That is very cool. Wow. I'm super excited for this console. All right, let's turn it to amateur and see what that does. I do not know. Okay, I don't know what the angle does. Um, bat size amateur. Let's try that. Oh, that makes your pong bigger. Or your paddle, I guess. That's pretty sweet. Let's try and hit one back. This is hard to do looking through a camera. I'm just saying. I'm trying to hit it. It's went through my paddle so many times. As you can see, I suck at Pong. Let's go the ball speed at Amateur. Yeah, see, as you can see, the ball goes much slower. So there's all the settings and all the games for this console. Um, very, very cool. 
and very very awesome to have i'm so happy to have this and i got it for free um like i said i got it from my uncle so um great thanks to him he doesn't watch my videos but um great thanks great thanks go out to him if i can speak english um now in between this little edit i'm going to Go film Iron Snout. I'm going to upload that to the gaming channel. If you guys want to check that out, then it will be down in the description below. And then... See, I want to know how I'm going to do this. I'll come back to you guys after that's done, show you the progress on that. And then I'll film the Ultra Gamer Talks about, maybe. And then I'll show you the progress on that. And then I've got to talk to you guys about um, the single survivor um, extinction. And then we're just going to go about my regular day. So, in between this edit, I'm going to go do that, and I will be back. And there it is, guys. There is um, Iron Snout number three. If you guys want to check that out, I'm pretty sure I said it earlier, but it will be down in the description below. But, um, now I'm thinking that I'm going to film the Ultra Game Talks about later tonight. Maybe 8, 8.30, maybe around that time. Um... I'm actually going out to eat with my family, so I'm going to go grab something to eat. Um, I think it's Taco Bell, but I'm not sure. So, Taco Bell sounds really good right now. Um, one of their flatbread sandwiches and uh, Mountain Dew mixed with Baja Blast. And, and nachos, don't forget the nachos. Best, best thing ever. I mean, Taco Bell's awesome. So, we're going to go there, um, then, I, then I'll come back film the Ultra Gamer talks about, and then, after that, it's just going to be a normal night, I guess. So, let's go. Mom's home. Now we can finally go to the restaurant. We've been waiting for you. We can finally go get food. Hi. Hey, how are you? I'm good. I was messing with the kittens earlier. I was about to leave, and then I came across this cute little guy. And his brother down there. Let's see what he's doing. Yep, just about to leave. And then he just popped out from um, under our porch. Of course, I know who this kitten is. I mean, he's been here since he was born, obviously. I'm not. I'm I'm being stupid. I don't know what I'm saying. There, There's two kittens. And they're running around just messing around with the adult tails so yeah pretty cute pretty awesome you can see them laying down there yeah there see they're just small enough to fit in between the lattice and so they can mess with each other and piss each other off they are brothers to the max well we are back home now and um, the reason I didn't vlog at all when I was out, it was just kind of a family go out to eat thing. And plus nothing really happened, so you guys would have just wa been watching pretty much pointless footage of just random stuff that I was doing. So I didn't, I didn't decide to film anything. Um, so you guys are stuck with like a basic 10 minute to 12 minute vlog, I think. I think this one's about that, right? Um, probably. But one thing I do want to talk about when I've got you guys caught in the vlog. Why are Taco Bell's flatbread sandwiches gone? <laughs> That's horrible. They're gone. I guess they were some kind of deluxe thing or something that was supposed to last like a certain amount of time. I didn't know that. I thought it was part of the permanent menu. I went up there, ordered a few, and they're like, wait, I don't think we have any. I don't think we sell them anymore. And I just felt my heart just break. <laughs> and yeah, that was really disappointing. But normally I just got like two flatbread sandwiches, um, a nacho, and a large Mountain Dew mixed with Baja Blast. And that was normally fine, but not this time. <laughs> no normal um, food, so that kind of sucks, so I just got like general tacos or whatever. But um, yeah, there's nothing really going on now, so I think I'm going to film the Ultra Gamer Talks about, um, finish up this vlog, and then... I will see you guys in the next vlog. So anyway guys, if you enjoyed this vlog, then please be sure to leave a giant like. And remember to keep on gaming, stay amazing, and I will see you guys next time.